While the federal government was flying Boko Haram terrorists who surrendered to troops and military aircraft, a soldier in Meiduguri killed four of his colleagues and killed himself, sparking renewed fears about post-traumatic stress disorder (PTSD) amongst troops fighting insurgents in Nigeria. How the Nigerian government could think of rehabilitating, educating, deradicalizing and reintegrating Boko Haram members into the society they voluntarily victimized calls for concerns. Meanwhile, the troops fighting terrorists in the northeast are neglected with PTSD and are killing each other. Spokesperson of the Nigerian Army, Sigur Musa, revealed that a corporal of the Nigerian Army serving at Theatre Command Operation Lafia Doli, Army Super Camp 15, in Malamfatori, went berserk in the early hours of February 26, 2020, and opened fire, killing four of his colleagues before shooting himself. Two of his colleagues were also injured during the incident and are currently in stable condition in our hospital in Meiduguri. The average Nigerian soldier stationed in the northeast has experienced or witnessed his fair share of violence and death, which lead to a mental health condition triggered by a terrifying event. These men are forced to drag the bodies of their colleagues in the face of active attacks from the terrorists and are left without mental care. This is not a one-off occurrence. It happens every day. Please tell me, who would not go berserk? See the weapon they bring here, these ones are not working. These are updated vehicles, they are not working. They just keep them here for formality. Just to discover, just, just to discourage us in the name of encouragement. Imagine, they are killing us every day. Eh? They, are not, they are not kidding us, they are not giving us anything. We imagine a soldier will be in the war front, no helmet, no fragmented jacket. No enough ammunition to help himself. Imagine in this situation, Abba, this is a very wrong idea. We are not going to take this again. It is, it is enough. Enough is enough. Yes, we die. We die. They kill us. But we are fighting to defend our country. The generals are shitting us. It is time for the generals to stop all those things. Nigeria will hear this. Hey, push up, push up. Sit down. Sit down. Ah. They are pushing you, Joe. Pushing the PC by number. Ah. Pushing the PC by number. <laughs> Nigeria army. There is problem. We, however, did not understand how bad it had gotten, despite these viral videos until 2014, when 500 soldiers fled, I mean, ran away to Cameroon in the middle of an active battle with terrorists. In October 2019, another set, a major and 21 soldiers, fled from the scene of a Boko Haram attack after feeling overpowered. Who wouldn't? As if that was not bad enough. Post-traumatic stress disorder, which is a common disaster for military personnel across the world, is taken for granted with frequent deniers and absolute silence from the military, thereby worsening the crisis. In November 2017, a soldier opened fire on a captain and killed him and then committed suicide. In June 2018, an army captain on active deployment in Boko Haram war committed suicide as he underwent psychiatric evaluation in Borno State. In September 2018, Adego Okbako, a staff surgeon attached to 192 Battalion in Goza, killed another surgeon, injured four others and killed himself. In the same month, Marcus Yusuf, a soldier, killed his colleague, injured another before fatally ripping apart his mouth with a rifle. After the federal government initiated the Operation Safe Corridor to grant amnesty to Boko Haram members, the National Assembly is considering a motion to establish an agency to educate, de-radicalize, rehabilitate and reintegrate the insurgents into the society. I think this government is a bit confused. Uh, you do not um, grant amnesty to people who have, who have a manifest agenda to seize your country, to seize territory. Um, when you talk about an amnesty for for Boko Haram, for example, these are people who are determined uh, to seize part of Nigeria, hoisting their flag, seizing citizens, kidnapping, abducting, and uh, forcefully converting um, citizens to a certain religion. And then you tell them you, you, you are granted amnesty. 
But to me, that presupposes that um, they have defeated the Nigerian armed forces. Is it true that the Nigerian army was also accused of recruiting the repentant insurgents into the troops? Are we expected to believe that the surrendered terrorists revealed that their leadership has been in disarray for the past four months, yet they continue to attack daily? While Sena claims convict terrorists in Nigeria. An ex Boko Haram stands having laid his arms and comes back, turns his way away from his negativity. He stands to be a president of this country. He stands to aspire to any position in this country.